Hello, and welcome to Conversations in Public Relations. I'm Mary Fletcher Jones. You know, DC communicators have a variety of communications groups from which to choose, and they all offer social networking benefits. Well, today I've asked Larissa Fair from the Social Media Club of Washington, DC here to talk to us about their group. The Social Media Club offers monthly networking and professional development opportunities for communicators, and the events are free. Let's talk to Larissa and learn more about social media. Larissa, tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do? I actually got in public relations when I was in high school. I worked on the Hill and um, there were some college students there and someone had a book on uh, Intro to Public Relations and I opened up, was hoping through it and said, wow, that incorporates everything I've ever been interested in. Uh, so I went to college, majored in public relations and got my start uh, working at an IT company doing marketing, um, moved into the agency world um, and then from that kind of got into social media PR um, through my own personal experience with blogging and, um, you know, I think it's a great industry. It's always evolving and changing. Um, PR touches everybody, whether they realize it or not. Um, you know, it's a great communications medium and um, medium between advertising, journalism, and PR. I mean, that's basically every, anything you see on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, tell me about the Social Media Club. How did you first get involved in this organization? I first got involved in Social Media Club in uh, November 2007. Uh, I was working at Livingston Communications with Jeff Livingston, and uh, he was the kind of DC um, contact for Social Media Club. Um, Social Media Club is a national organization. Uh, it was founded in July 2006 by Christy Wells and Chris Hewer, and they're based in San Francisco. Um, it's up to about 40 um, chapters nationally. You know, for me, it's been a great experience um, with event planning and networking. You know, I really love event planning. And uh, we usually have meetings once a month, um, and uh, the location varies depending on um, who's sponsoring it or what the topic is. Um, each month I try to switch it up um, with a different topic or tool that people um, may want to learn about or discuss. Um, there are a variety of ways to get in touch with Social Media Club online. Obviously there's um, a Facebook page, a LinkedIn page, um, a Twitter stream. Um, a wiki page sponsored through the National Social Media Club. So there's a lot, variety of ways to get in touch with other members and learn about upcoming events. And all events are free um, to attend. Um, I do um, work with different sponsors for each event, which provide food, beverage, venues, and um, a variety of other things for our members. How has your involvement with the Social Media Club benefited you professionally? Um, it's definitely a social networking thing. There's, uh, there's a huge community in DC of people who are willing to help each other, um, whether they're startups or established companies, people who are just getting into social media. Um, you know, for me personally, I've had the opportunity to, um, you know, network with with a lot of different people. Um, establish myself in the community um, as kind of a go-to person. Um, I've gotten to meet a lot of leaders in PR, in marketing, in um, communications, and also just in in different industries. Uh, so it's been a really great experience for me. What's the one thing you wish public relations professionals understood better about social media? PR professionals should understand that for social media, it's all about um, listening and engaging. Um, a lot of times I think people just try to jump right in, they're like, let's start a Twitter stream, let's get on Facebook, let's do this, without any actual strategy around it. Um, it's important starting out to um, you know, assess the landscape of your industry um, for your clients or your company. Um, you know, do what makes sense. It doesn't make sense for people, some people to be on Twitter. It doesn't make sense for some people to be on Facebook. Um, they really need to listen um, first and then um, start engaging. Um, I also think that PR professionals need to look at social media as just a, a, a tactic. Um, you know, something that you would do to, um, that's integrated along with, you know, traditional media outreach and, and more traditional activities with thought leadership, but just turning it into online. Integrating with online tools is, is the best way um, for PR professionals to really be successful. Um, you know, if you're doing an event, um, why don't you videotape it, uh, put it online, make it accessible. Um, if you're um, in, on Facebook, make sure your Facebook links back to your corporate website. Make sure that um, your Facebook links to your Flickr page. You know, just those small things where if you're reaching one part of a community, then you're going to um, be able to reach a much broader audience um, by linking those tools together. So it was great having you here on Conversations and Public Relations. Thank you, and I hope that um, everybody really learned something and um, we'll get involved in Social Media Club. 